the San Clemente Dam is about 18 miles upstream from the Pacific Coast and the town of Carmel in Monterey County. Um, historically, this was the dam was built in 1921, and it was built for the purpose of providing a water supply for the Monterey Peninsula and also to provide some incidental flood control. Um, at that time, uh, the Carmel River had sufficient flows that supported a, a native steelhead trout uh, and had a fairly good fishery. But when the dam was put in, it you know, restricted the steelhead's migration upstream. Uh, they did build a fish ladder historically, and it's still there, but it's just not very functional and not up to today's you know, standards. A couple decades ago, the California Division of Safety of Dams uh, determined that the San Clemente Dam was potentially unsafe in what's called a maximum credible earthquake or a maximum probable flood. And so the concern was that the dam could potentially fail in one of those types of events and then flood downstream and you know have a great impact to uh, public safety. So uh, when that was determined there was a lot of um, studies done to try to figure out what could be done to you know, take away that risk. And uh, one of the things they looked at was um, fortifying the dam so structurally you wouldn't take it out, but you would just make it stronger. Uh, and um, California American Water, the owner of the dam, was obligated to do some sort of fix to be able to reduce that hazard. Um, what turned out though that the dam has been so filled in with sediment, it's about 90% filled, that even if you were to structurally reinforce the dam, you really lose the value of the dam in terms of holding water for storage or flood control. So that um, potential fix wasn't that um, good. So then they continued to look at other options and uh, one option came up which was to remove the dam. But a big challenge was, what do you do with the sediment? Uh, so they looked at several alternatives for managing the sediment. Uh, one was, you know, let it just flow downstream, uh, but there was concern about impacts to other properties, um, and it's pretty heavily developed down river. Uh, another um, option was dig the sediment out and haul it to some upland site. But that was prohibitively expensive because it's such a great volume, it's about 2.5 million cubic yards of sediment. So, you know, that was so expensive that really didn't uh, pan out as a good alternative. Um, what they eventually arrived at was let's stabilize the sediment in place and bypass the river around where the reservoir sediment now sits. You know, the owner had um, come up with the concept of rerouting the river and stabilizing the sediment. But those uh, ideas had to, you know, Kleinfelder was responsible for really digging into the design and coming up with real designs that would work. And we used our field investigation information to look at the characteristics of the sediments and the rock uh, to make sure that our designs would work. And it was, um, uh, you know, it's a design that's never been done before. It's a one-of-a-kind thing to do this kind of a reroute. Uh, and also even on the dam removal part, um, it's the largest dam to ever be removed in California history. And so Kleinfelder's role in looking at the stability of the dam as it's being removed is a critical part of our scope as well. Um, and then uh, one of the challenges of the project is that in the design we have to make sure the slopes and the, the river and the berms are all going to be there permanently and so it's a very high design standard to hold and uh, because it's a river system we're having to make sure our design can accommodate the flow the combined flow of the Carmel River and the San Clemente Creek in an event that would be a significant flood event and the channel that we created we designed and built uh, the combined flow reach is going through San Clemente Creek where that channel historically has never handled the flow of the Carmel River. So we had to do additional engineering analysis to look at what would those flows be and design basically a new stream to take that amount of water and also 
maintain the ability to handle fish passage as well. A significant challenge in our first year of working on the project was accomplishing the geotechnical investigation, which was in a very uh, brief period of time, about six, seven weeks, where we had as many as five drill rigs going at one time, people working six days a week, uh, long hours every day to get the geotechnical information. And a challenge with the site is you can only work between May and the end of October because of respecting the fisheries habitat and having an in-water work window. So we had to do our geotechnical investigation and be out of there by the end of October. And uh, it, was, it was very challenging to manage that schedule and a lot of people worked a lot of hours you know, in a very concentrated time. And similarly with the schedule, we're having to, we've had to do a lot of uh, geotechnical testing and get the design going where there's a very short window in that first year from the geotech investigation ending to the next spring to have a number of the design elements complete and approved so the contractor could start construction in that second season. Uh, and generally the work in the field is very confined schedule wise because you're having to, the owner's interest to get it done in three summers uh, from May to October um, and the amount of work is an enormous amount of earth moving and cutting and that sort of thing, that, and dam removal, that it's very challenging schedule-wise. So this project uh, will have a significant benefit by taking away the risk that the owner and the dam currently have for downstream, the downstream public in terms of uh, flood hazard or a failure of the dam in an earthquake. And also, this project will have the benefit of allowing the steelhead to migrate uh, up the Carmel River where they're now blocked by the dam, and this area will become a park. And so the public will have access for recreational use of this area uh, when it's completely restored.